Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jazby's Hobbyland. Moving w with the speed of a sloth today. It's Monday, Jordan. What do you want from me? Um, 17, 18 Ascension Basketball, 12 box. Pick your team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, holiday Scratchers involved in this. And we are, uh, this is our second to last break before we unlock the Black Friday promo, which we extended to, to tonight. The other Ascension case will be the last break before we unlock the promo. So we're pretty much there. So thanks, everybody. Todd with that last spot mojo, Miami Heat. He's looking for Bam Bam. Here is Ascension. Good luck, everybody. I have not physically seen this in person as of yet. Sorry, there we go. But I did watch a little, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express. So I know all about this break now. All right, so there's all, there's six boxes up front and then six boxes in the back right there. Makes 12. Let's scoot this camera over a little bit. Now, what do we got here? What do we, what do we have here? One autograph per box. Nice. And what's great is that, and some rare inserts too, what's great is that it's 17-18 basketball. So we're looking at the new rookie class, which is supposed to be deep and, and hot. Deep and hot this is his draft class. I like this sort of like iPhone paint splatter thing they have going on there. I, I approve of that. I think it's pretty nice. Actually, I'm watching the uh, watching my Lakers play the Clippers right now. And one of those big name rookies are in, in here, Lonzo Ball. Sort of an up and down year for Lonzo Ball. Sometimes, uh, Sometimes he looks great, and then sometimes he says, I'm not going to score any points. Sometimes I'm going to make an incredible pass, and then sometimes my shooting percentage, my field goal percentage is going to be like 20%. What are you going to do? He's a kid. He's young. And uh, Adam is reporting in the chat, on the YouTube side of the chat, saying that Ascension filled, Ascension 3 is filled. Let me confirm that. Folks, that is not fake news, that is real news. Ascension 3 has filled, so we did it. <laughs> Round of applause, our extended Black Friday promo is now full. So stay tuned later tonight for the, uh, for the randomizer to see if you won a prize. All right, so let's check out the first box. I like to do this. I like to take a kind of a slower look at this before we start flying through it, just so I can get an idea of what's going on here. All right, there you go. That's the look. I like the, the, the look in the background. I think that's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. All right, so let's start flying through these. It's a bit of a longer break, so take some time on that. Cool inserts. Love Kyle Kuzma. He's been playing great for the Lakers. Kelly Aubrey Jr. Is your autograph. 147 out of 199 for the Washington Wizards. Rick on the board with an auto. Good catch right there. Nice die cut. These are pretty cool. I, I, I like the way these look. Composed, Kemba Walker having a good season too. I think some of some of these pull this down a little bit. I think some of these are uh, are serial numbered. If oh there it is. I was gonna say if I miss one, don't worry. Our shipping team usually does a, a second pass through. There's Otto Porter is 75. Another one for Rick and the Wizards.
Nice, making history. Is that your 70 point game? Yep. Jared Allen. We've got Jonathan Isaac. Um, I'll, this is not rookie Ben Simmons, so I don't know if this is going to be, if this is going to be, you know, worth anything significant, but we'll sleeve it up so it'll be top loaded nonetheless. David, David, you have a problem. David says only one auto a box, though. He says, "What out of ascension?" That's all right. What's wrong with that? I think the price point reflects reflects that pretty well. He likes the base though. I know, I, I do too. I like the base, the design of the base cards. Do all cards ship? I think Vet Base doesn't ship. I'll, I'll try to see if they can send some base to you guys. I'll make a note of it. They may not do it, but just because in like at least a couple of the early breaks, I like to try and make sure you get some base cards too, and then we'll shift to the no Vet Base thing. But no guarantees on that, but. I'll at least put the word in. Okay, next box. I like these inserts too. Dwayne Bacon, mmm, bacon. Insert. There's my boy Larry Nance Jr. Four out of 75 for the Lakers. Jeremy Tillman with my Lakers. We got die cut Zach Collins. DeAndre Bembry is your autograph, your Ascension Auto. 168 out of 199 for the Atlanta Hawks. I'll go to Paul Harris. John Collins, insert. Eric Gordon, Juan Ginobili. So some nice inserts we have here. 27 out of 75. Oleli Yeli <laughs> for the Celtics. That'll be for Ryan. And a couple base cards right here. All right, next box. Folks, just keep in mind, this year, the 1718 draft, or all the 1718 basketball products should be pretty huge. Obviously, if you're a basketball fan, you know that the 17 uh, NBA draft is not only uh, it's not only well regarded as a deep draft but also just has a lot of great uh, potentially great players on there and a lot of these players are moving the needle in the hobby move the needle you know you got Markel Fultz number one pick going to the 76ers right you got Lonzo Ball you know say what you want about his dad but Lonzo Ball Moves the needle and uh, is is well liked by Lakers fans and a lot of people around the country. To be honest with you, you'd be surprised. Jason Tatum for the Celtics. You got Josh Jackson for the Suns. De'Aaron Fox, Kings. You know Jonathan Isaac, Magic. Laurie Markkanen, or I think Markkanen, um, who's on the Bulls and due to some luck got some playing time and is looking really good. So a lot, 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 lot to be excited about in this draft class, and a lot of hits 
that you're going to want to chase throughout the season, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I was getting there. Down the list, I was, I'm just going. I'm, I literally just pulled up the draft class. I'm looking at it. Dennis Smith Jr. for the Mavs is playing really well. He's a he's a pretty cheap daily fantasy option. There's Zach Levine to 125 Bulls edition. There's Allen Iverson, nice die cut. And a redemption. Any idea who the redemptions are? There's Kyle Kuzma who's been playing well. You know, and all the all the sort of big market teams and their fan base are always going to be pretty obsessed over any of their rookies. There's Harry Giles, 23 out of 50. And sorry, Ricky Rubio, Jazz Edition. Um, kind of going down the list again, you've got Bam Adebayo for the Heat. you got Justin Jackson for the Trailblazers. Uh, I'm not sure if TJ Leaf has really done much, but he's a, he's a UCLA guy. So he's on the Pacers. Um, let's see, I'm trying to scroll down right here. Anobi, OG, Og, Anobi. Who else? Kyle Kuzma, like I said, 27th overall. Josh Hart could make some make some noise this season. I'm trying to think. Jordan Bell could make a little noise. People like Dwayne Bacon. I like Bacon. You know, and then we'll see how some of those other like late second round picks go. And obviously, college fans are still into into these players too. So this redemption is wow. Base set autographs. Anthony Davis. The brow. Who's got the Pelicans in this one? That'll be Luke Lombardo. Nice one, Luke. I've heard of that guy. That's pretty good. All right, next box. So, a lot to be excited about for basketball this season, ladies and gentlemen. A lot to be excited about. They used some extra glue here on these packs. So that'll make sets like, you know, Ascension Basketball, all the new 1718 product. Pretty much if you're a basketball fan, or even if you're not, this year is a good year to get back into basketball because of all the youngsters that are coming up the ranks. And it doesn't take much for basketball. Uh, for basketball players to really gain a lot of value in the hobby. A lot of value in basketball. Not too many players in the league, over, and just in general. And so that makes a huge difference. Supply, classic supply-demand situation. Plus a big international market for basketball also helps value on these. So it's a smart play, ladies and gentlemen. Vince Carter insert. Anuobi. And 33 out of 299, John Collins, rookie ascent. On card autograph. 33 out of 299 for the Atlanta Hawks. That'll be for Paul Harris. This is on a slightly. Uh, Probably thicker card stock as well as you can see. All the other ones are pretty standard. Nice rookie ascent auto. Malik Monk out of twenty-five. And as the season goes on, there's always there's always somebody, you know, there's always someone in the hobby, one of these names, nice Brandon Ingram that will just be the guy that everyone kind of gloms onto as like the, the rookie for the year. And so keep an eye on 
on all of these rookies. Uh oh, is this another edition of, of Todd Reardon's basement finds? What did you What did you find, Todd? Tell us. Todd has a basement full of full of old cards from back in the day, all, all sorts of memorabilia. So anything fun? One of these days, Todd, your your daughters are gonna find like a. 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan card just sitting around there. Oh, is that right? That's pretty cool. You got to post some in the Facebook group. Todd here. I'll drop the link to the Facebook group for everybody. If you have a chance, post some of that. I'd love to see that. That's that's a piece of history. So Todd's saying that, that he was looking around in his basement, his basement oh stuff, and he said he found pictures that he took, pictures that he took of Michael Jordan's first prof professional, can't say that word, professional preseason game in Peoria, Peoria, sorry, uh, Illinois, October 5th, 1984. They're so bad and blurry. It's even better. As long as we can make out who uh, that person is. <laughs> Michael Jordan. It's like, is that... Can you tell it's Michael Jordan in the pictures? That's all it takes, Todd. As long as it has that classic silhouette. Todd was 14. Not exactly a Annie Leibovitz yet. Not, not exactly Ansel Adams at 14 years old. I'd still like to see it, though. That'd be pretty cool to see. And I said it on the recording now, Todd, so everyone's expecting it. Don't let him down, Todd. <laughs> the pressure is on now on. Juwan Evans. Kobe. Got these nice die cuts here. Pretty cool. Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram starting to come into his own a little bit this season. And we got mm, Bacon. 98 out of 299. Rookie Ascent. This is a delicious hit. Bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? That go I mean, vegetarians, I guess. But other than that, for the Charlotte Hornets, I'll go to Adam Kupperman with the Dwayne Bacon. I hope he makes it. I hope he becomes like a really huge player in the hobby. Just because I'd like to see him get like, you know, bacon endorsements and stuff. Out of 129, Tony Bradley. I like the look of those ascent autographs. Looks like uh, looks like all of those rookie ascent autographs are on card, which is nice. <laughs> David just not happy with anything. Yeah, Ascension base cards are nice, but just one auto a box. Man, if only that was a Malik Monk auto, so. I mean, they can't all be like Lonzo Balls in here. They can't just be 12 autos a box, all with Lonzo Ball and Markel Fultz. That's just not the way it works, Dave. use like extra strength blue on these. All right. All 
right, next box. Good luck, everyone. Come on, Joe. And we got Lonzo Ball. Autograph. Wow, there it is. I got Lonzo Ball playing the Clippers right now. How is Lonzo doing tonight? Is it good Lonzo night or inefficient Lonzo night? Lakers. Who has my Lakers? Jeremy Tillman with my Lakers. Nice. Even David's got to be. Yeah, David who? He's like, yo, that's fire. Even he's got to be happy with this one. No complaints from him on this one. Lonzo Ball is one for five from the floor after 17 minutes. One for four from the three-point line. He's got three points. He's got five assists already, though. Steal. Uh, just a couple turnovers and a couple rebounds. There you go. Nice Lonzo Ball. That is strong. 243 out of 299. I'm telling you, like David was saying, David was saying earlier, though, this 17-18 class is loaded. Is loaded, so you know, there's a lot of great rookies like Malik Monk that you can chase in all of the 17-18 products coming up. So it's not just like one or two guys and that's it. You know what I mean? There's a whole string of guys that could potentially be all great for the hobby and all be, you know, pretty successful, maybe even border, most borderline all-stars, you know, from, for, uh, for a long time. So nice one for Jeremy Tillman on that. Yeah, <laughs> he's shooting better than normal, says David Hoop. Yeah, Lonzo Ball's shooting a little bit better than normal. So really, does that... Dave's saying that Lonzo basically goes for 2 250 That's not bad. I'll take that. I don't, I don't know. I have, actually have no idea how much we charge for the Lakers. I'll look it up. Now that covers the spot easily. Covers the spot easily. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. The glue is a lot friendlier on this this box. Um, yeah, Dave says he wouldn't be surprised if that keeps going up to like three three fifty. Well, I don't know when the next oh Prism Basketball seventeen eighteen Prism Basketball is coming out at the end of the week, I believe. So jazbeeshobbyland.com will have the Prism Basketball. So keep an eye out for that. But definitely get into that. You know, Prism Basketball. Prism products are generally well regarded as like the card, the product to get, you know, the rookie cards. You know, if you if you look at like buyback products like Leaf, uh, buyback products, Super Break, TriStar, etc., you'll notice that a lot of those like see that uh, the, a lot of those graded cards that are repacked into those buyback products are uh, are from like Prism. You know, so it's pretty strong. All right, Zach Collins. Lori Markinen. I was watching the, there's Eric Gordon. I was watching the Lakers, uh, I'll save that Ben Simmons too. I was watching the Lakers Bulls games and I, they were saying Markinen, so. I, I've been saying Markanen. I'll go with Markinen. Ryan Anderson is your autograph. 22 out of 25. Nice low number for the Rockets. Jason Lawner with the Houston Rockets. All right, so there's your autograph there. There is Semi Ojaleyi. Ojaleyi. Chris Paul healthy yet? Is he playing? Maybe I think he is, right? Maybe he just just came back recently.
Um, what is uh, what is what's everyone's favorite basketball team? We actually have not been breaking a lot of basketball in sixteen seventeen, but I feel I have a feeling we're gonna be breaking a lot of basketball this season seventeen eighteen season. So tell me, who is your uh, who is your what's your basketball team? How are you feeling about your team this season thus far? Still kind of early in the season, not, you know, but you know, people should get some impressions on how, how their season is going. We should be getting more Court Kings, Jackie. Or new Court Kings. I think that's coming out in a few weeks, if I'm not mistaken. David, whose uh, team is the Boston Celtics? They're, they're, they've been rattling off wins all over left and right. Yeah, they look they look pretty good. Could be uh, you know they could be Eastern Conference final finalists. Cruz's team, the Trailblazers, about he's thinking about same as last year for them. There's Derek White, rookie ascent for the Spurs. That's for Jeremy Tillman and the Spurs. Nice one, Jeremy. Rick is a Nuggets guy. He's saying he loves the Millsap edition. There's Josh Hart making a little bit of an impact with the Lakers. Jeremy Lin. Ivan Rab. Kobe, the thrill of victory insert. It's Josh Jackson insert there. Kevin Durant at the end. Still not used to Kevin Durant in a Warriors uniform. David saying, uh, David saying. Celtics are good if you don't play against two good big men. Not too many clubs have two good big men, right? Oh, Connor, hello. You're using Josh Miller's YouTube. You saw the mixer. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. It's a huge picture, too. You should get that framed. Congrats, man. Well, obviously, me being an L.A. guy, folks, I'm a Lakers guy. Lakers, like my Raiders, actually, have gone through some... All uh, well, the Raiders have gone through a lot more dark years, many more dark years. But the Lakers are, are in the midst of some darkness. But light at the end of the tunnel. They got their ownership situation squared away last year. They got their front office cleaned up a little bit. Uh, they got rid of one bad contract over the... Uh, over the summer, now they just have to see what they what they can do with with Will Dane trying to get rid of his contract. They've got some good youngsters. Kyle Kuzma has been a revelation. Lonzo Ball has had some ups and downs. Drink a little coffee here. Lonzo has has had some up, ups and downs, but he's he's looking to be pretty good. Uh, his court vision as advertised. That's pretty good. Did I miss a numbered card? I did. Out of 75, there's Bam Adebayo. That's for Todd. Everyone let him know that he got an insert when he comes back. So the Lakers are moving in the right direction, slowly but slowly but surely. I like the uh, I like the progress. I'm happy about that. DJ Wilson is your rookie ascent. Autograph for the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks have been playing really well. Nice one, Milwaukee. 234 out of 299. That will be for Jeremy Tillman and the Bucks. We got DeMarcus Cousins, free agent. 
at the end of the season, where does he go? I'm kind of crossing my fingers that the Lakers will pick him up. I think the Lakers, as it stands now, if they're still stuck with the Luol Deng contract, I think they have room for one max. One max contract. I'd like that to go to DeMarc. I don't think they're going to get All that LeBron James. I'm not a crazy Lakers fan. Let's put that out there right now. I'm not insane. I don't think the Lakers are going to get Paul George, LeBron James, and Boogie Cousins and somehow get someone to take Luol Deng for all the money and still keep Julius Randle and Jordan Cl I'm not insane Lakers guy, folks. I'm pretty level-headed, as you as you know already. Or as level-headed as I could possibly be. I don't know. A few, a few adult beverages in the, in, the, in the heat of the game, I may not be. But on air, I'm usually pretty level-headed about this stuff. Um, so, uh, anyhow. I think they should go after Boogie Cousins. And I think having that kind of big man with a lot of uh, good young pieces around him would be pretty good for him. Would be pretty good for him. He'd be a focal point of the offense. You know, I think he'd be on a young and dynamic team that could pave the way for other free agents in, in, over the coming years. You never know at that point. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Rick saying I don't remember Brooke Lopez shooting all those threes in Brooklyn. He was actually the last year or two. Uh, he has been working a lot in the offseason on his three-point shooting. And now he's now he's good for him. Now he takes about four or five threes, uh, four or five threes a, uh, a game now. And I think he's he hits at least two of them. You know, two out of five? He does a, he does a pretty decent job. A enough to be a bit of a threat. Brooke Lopez is really underrated, I think. I think he's... Uh, a lot of people hate on him, especially in L.A., but, you know, he is a pretty versatile player. And I think that's the, the the key to his game as he gets a little bit older. You know what I mean? Yeah, not a bad three-point shot. And he apparently he has worked extremely hard at that. Like in the off season, you know, he you know, he plays like I'll save this too. I might have some value um, along with this. But like he there's stories of him taking like you know, it makes like you know, shoots like five or six hundred three pointers a day in the off season. Really has worked on that shot. And CJ McCollum is your autograph. Thirty four out of one forty nine. I was getting worried. I was like, where's that auto? But um, he's not not no not the best not the best rebounder, but. I think he, yeah, you're, yeah, David, who, I, I don't know if he necessarily has to crash the boards as much, you know, because, uh, yeah, because Lonzo Ball is pretty aggressive uh, with at getting rebounds. If Julius Randle's on the court, he's pretty aggressive. Larry Nance Jr. is pretty aggressive at getting rebounds. So the, we've got some guys that like to rebound. All right, two boxes go. So I, th I think uh, I think that role is necessarily doesn't have to be him. But yeah, he but he's he's pretty underrated, you know. Still has a still has a decent post up game, but it now is versatile enough, especially in this M this kind of NBA. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Trailblazers, Adam. That's you, Ray. There you go, man. You're welcome. Um, but I think in this modern NBA, and Brooke Lopez is a little bit of an older player in the league. He's been around the season for like nine, ten years, I think now. So I think he has adjusted pretty well. He's, he's adjusted to the league, to the changes in the league, the evolution of the league pretty well. And I think he's made himself a pretty valuable player, especially uh, this being, uh, he's, only, he's on an expiring deal. That's how the Lakers got him. He's just this season, I think he's an unrestricted free agent after this. Now, the Lakers signed Boogie Cousins, I don't think. You know, Lopez is not coming back. But if they can't get if they can't get Lopez, or if they can't get Cousins, and if Lopez isn't signed at that point, I'm sure they'll get I'm sure they'll re-sign Brooke Lopez to a short term deal. Or if they get this if this guy opts out, you know, then goes with Paul George opts out, Lakers get So there's a lot of this is just a ton of weird uh, scenarios that are all out there. 
It's gonna be a crazy. Uh, it's gonna be a crazy off season. Sixty three out of seventy five. Out of seventy five, we got Jared Allen. Kind of these fakes fakes me out. <laughs> all the cards that are backwards, all those inserts that are backwards. There's Blake Griffin. Reaching new heights insert. Nice. There's Jeremy Lin. There's Dennis Smith Jr. Marcus Saul. Marcus Saul's your autograph. Nice. 21 out of 125. And Rick Rick just finished talking about Pau Gasol. So for the Memphis Grizzlies. That is uh, Tim, Tim Mahoney, with the Marcus All autograph. Nice. And last box coming up. We've got one more of these breaks already filled up. So we're going to do one more right after this. I'm going to take a quick five, and we'll do one more after this. After this, And then we'll give away some Black Friday prizes. All right, last box. Good luck. Oh, we're making good time on this. This is about how long I thought it was going to take. We're at the we're about at the thirty-seven minute mark right now. So we should be just over the forty minute mark by the time we're done. <laughs> Hi, Todd. Am I back? Did I get any hits? Or I'm back? Did I get any hits? He's like, I know the answer. You don't have to, no, no need to answer. Not yet, Todd. Not yet. There was an insert for the Miami Heat, a, a serial numbered card that will be coming to you. But no ink as of yet. But we do have one more autograph to go, so let's see. This could be, this could be you. So you might be back just in time to witness greatness. So good luck, Todd. Good luck, everybody. Appreciate everybody getting in. Appreciate everybody filling up that other Ascension break as well. So we'll talk a little more basketball in the next break. So with that final Ascension break, with the other Ascension break coming up after this, and then after that will be the promo. Juwan Evans. Uh, we did it, William. No more breaks for the promo. We're done. It's all filled up. We did it. I'm proud of everybody for digging deep and making it happen. One out of 50, Dwayne Bacon. Saw his autograph earlier. Jeff Teague. Insert. And our final autograph is... Nope, not Caleb Swan. Again, that's a nice insert, though. Our final autograph is 48 out of 299, Luke Knard for the Detroit Pistons. Who's got Motor City? That'll be Ryan Drohan. There you go, Ryan. A little something for you at the end. That's ESPN, kid, with a nice rookie auto. Nice on card, 48 out of 299. And there you have it, folks. Done and done. Holiday Scratcher. So if you went hitless, don't worry. There's another chance. Another chance of getting something out of this break. So let's go back to random, or let's go back to the screen right here, the list. Let's fire up random.org. I know, I accidentally fired myself up too. <laughs> uh, let's get this list here from Paul down to Rick. Let's put him at the blank list right here. Any break that has holiday scratches on it, folks, is eligible for these prizes. So take a look at that at jazbeeshobbyland.com. Details are there as well. And if you get into the uh, if you get into the uh, holiday scratch, if you win a holiday scratcher, excuse me, if you win a holiday scratcher, you're also put in a big winner's pool as well. You can win more prizes, bigger prizes. Let's randomize this five times: three and a two. One, two, 
two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Name on top after five times is Jeremy Tillman. Nice one, Jeremy. He got the Lonzo ball and a scratcher. Some guys have all the luck. All right, we'll get this one right here. What quarter did I get here? I got the, uh, ooh, that's a pretty cool quarter, a little Gettysburg quarter. Nice. Been watching uh, a lot of Ken Burns, Civil War. So it's good. Looks like you got break credit, Jeremy. Nice. There you go. $25 of break credit coming your way. I think all this silvery gunk is now underneath my fingernails. Uh, there you go. $25 of break credit coming your way, Jeremy. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. You're also in the big winner's pool as well for another big randomizer once all these scratchers are gone. Thanks a lot, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for the next one.